So a lot of people ask, what is healthcare simulation? Healthcare simulation at Gateway is a way to enhance student learning in a safe environment. Simulation can be something as simple as a task trainer, something to start an IV, from hybrid simulation where one of our educators can wear a device to help students learn, um, all the way to our high fidelity simulators, which you'll see walking through the hallway at the Inspire Center. Um, all these methods really help enhance student learning to have a safe environment where they can make mistakes and learn and then better take care of their patients in the future. Simulation lab, when you think about it, uh, I mean, initially it sounds scary, but really this is the safest place for us to practice our skills. And so you use that fear to your advantage uh, because it's okay to make mistakes here. That's, that's where you learn from. You learn from those mistakes. It was really... Uh, it was nerve-wracking uh, the first time going in, uh, but shortly after going in, it was um, much more settled down because then we were actually in it, we were absorbed in it, and it was a really great experience. So a lot of students are afraid to make mistakes or afraid that they have to be perfect when they're in simulation, and that's not true. That's why we utilize simulation so students can make mistakes, and often they're very nervous, but that is an important thing because they're showing that through your nerves and anxiety, you actually retain more information. So we're excited that students get to have the opportunity to learn in the simulation events, and then often repeat those instances maybe where they made a mistake, do that event again, and then learn from it. You know, you still never know what to expect in sim, um, but as far as the general layout, you know the process of it, it becomes much more comfortable and much more um, rewarding afterward. As the simulations went on, um, like for the second time, I felt way more confident and more excited. And honestly, I didn't want the simulation um, to end. I wasn't as nervous walking into them. Obviously, I'm so nervous a little bit because I don't want to mess up. But you don't realize how seriously you have to take it. Like when I first started it, I was like, no, you don't take this too seriously. It's just like, they're not real, but no, they breathe. They can change the situation in the back room however they want to do it. We've had situations where patients did get critical, so it was kind of like, whoa, this is real life. So definitely I got way more relaxed with it by my third one, I would want to say. So simulation helps prepare students for the real world by creating um, an environment where they can learn and make mistakes. We really try to replicate experiences they may or may not see in clinical, and through those experiences they can learn what to do. The biggest thing that helps me um, in dealing with real life patient care is it built up my confidence. The scenarios that we do are real life scenarios that you would have with patients in an everyday um, atmosphere at the hospital, in the emergency room, in a clinic, anything like that. So I feel like it prepares you a lot um, for that because it's not, patients in the real world, it's not going to be planned out step by step for you. So you have to be on your toes the whole time. This experience has helped a lot just simply because you never know what you're going to get with a, with a patient. And so with simulation, it's the same thing. You never know what you're going to come into or how the patient's going to react. So it's very uh, beneficial in that manner. Like coming into simulation, you realize what you're doing as a nurse and like getting your pills ready, getting your meds ready, getting IV bags hung and making sure what patient's most critical that you should go to first. I think those skills are just so important for them to not only know and learn but to actually put into place and actually do them on that simulator which is very close to a real adult person. So following every simulation experience, we have a debriefing exercise. That's where the instructor and the students get to sit down and evaluate the experience. They talk about their anxieties, their fears, what they did well, uh, maybe what they can improve upon, learn a little bit about the pathophysiology that went behind the patient's um, situation, and then how they can improve in the future. Um, the students really utilize this time and a great deal of learning comes out of the debriefing exercise. Afterwards, you know, you debrief with your instructor and my instructor was so encouraging. She um, reiterated that not everyone's gonna respond well to different therapeutic communications. It's all about getting to know your patient and how they respond well. So that was very um, encouraging and I, I learned a lot. The post-conference part of simulation definitely helps with the real world more so because it gets down to the nitty gritty and the why, which is what nursing is all about. And um, being able to discuss that after the simulation kind of like opens up your eyes and you're like, wow, you know, so if I have a patient in the real world and this is happening, I know how to go about to do it. And it, it makes me feel a lot more comfortable sitting down afterwards doing that post-conference talk. And then with our community partners, we've had the ability to 
um, help with learning for our physicians, nurses, paramedics, various other community members, we've been able to utilize simulation to create a high-risk situation for their staff to learn from. It was, I think, a great experience because we were able to bring the physicians in also, and so the physicians and the nurses were able to work together in a simulation experience rather than in a real live emergency. So I think it benefited them and the physicians to be able to work together in that situation. And if a mistake was made or something didn't go right, it was only a simulation. I am so thankful that Gateway has supported simulation. Um, the evidence is out there showing that simulation is helping to increase learning and prevent errors through um, going through different processes and it is amazing to see our students learn and to feel better prepared for future practice. It really does prepare you for your career and if you really want to be a nurse this really shows you how to deal with real patients. Through each simulation experience that I've had uh, I've become more of a confident nurse. You learn so many things in fundamentals, pharmacology and skills and when you're in simulation you get to learn and use all of your skills that you've learned so far in the semester. So it's a really great feeling. My last simulation, it went really, really well. And I was able to uh, input everything I had learned in SIP up to that point. And I just had a wow moment at the end of it. It was just like, wow, look how much I've learned in just four simulations um, compared to my first time going in, compared to my last time going. It was just really amazing.